guys, this is DisneyFan14, and today I'll be showing you how to make this adorable little invisible woman charm on the rainbow loom. So, you here I have the futuristic invisible loom. You can make the regular one by using just blue bands instead of the white bands here. The supplies you will need today are some yellow bands, some skin tone bands, black bands, and lots of white bands. And of course you will need your rainbow loom and your rainbow loom hook or crochet hook. So let's get started. So we're going to start by using a single yellow band and going in the center, going straight down just like that in the center. Now we're going to use double yellow bands and go diagonally down to the left and then diagonally down to the right using double bands like that. We're going to be using double bands pretty much the whole time except for her eyes and cat bands and her feet and her arm like well those are considered cat bands but um so now we're going to take double yellow bands and go di down once on the left and then down once on the right as well. Like that. Now we're going to take double skin tone bands and go down once on the left and once on the right. Now we're going to go down three times in the middle with skin tone bands. like that. Now we're going to take double skin tone bands again and go from the center up diagonally to the left. Like that. And then do the same thing on the right side. From the center diagonally up to the right. Just like that. Now for the neck, you could use skin tone bands like I have here or you could use black bands so that you don't have to see any skin tone bands at all. So today I'm going to be using um, black so that you can see the difference. Okay, so for me, take double black bands, but if you're using the peach, then take double peach bands. And then go down once in the center. And then we're going to use our white bands now, so I'm just going to move some over. And taking double white bands go from the center diagonally down to the left and then do the same thing on the right like that now we're going to go down three times on the left three times on the right with double white bands so once twice and three times just like that. And now we formed the side of her body, not including her legs. So now, do the same thing on the right side, using double white bands, once, twice, and three times. Like this. Now we're going to do the center, and we're going to start with black bands to create the, it's supposed to represent the four on her outfit. So we're going to take th three black bands for this and place it in the center just like that. Now we're going to use what double white bands again going down twice like that. Now we'll add on her feet. So take double white bands and go once on the right side I mean left side and once on the right side. Now take a black band, a single black band, and wrap it around this bottom peg three times. Like that. And that's going to create her foot. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side with the black band. 
So I just push down the band so it makes it easier. And then wrap the black band around her foot. I mean her leg. So just like this. Now we're going to do her arms. So we're going to use our hook for that. And so we're going to start with a single black band. We're basically going to do what we did with the foot but on our hook. So wrap it around your hook three times like this. And then take two black bands, like I mean white bands, sorry. Put it on the tip of your hook and then slide all three loops of this black cap band onto those white bands and bring the other the two ends back on your hook and place it either on the left or right. I'm going to start on the left. Like that. There's a lot of, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's a lot of noise outside. My block has a lot of dogs. So, here's one arm, and then let's do the other arm. So taking the black band and then double white bands. Make, make sure you get all of the black bands on. And then put the other the loops back onto your hook. Then do that on the right side as well. So they fell off my hook, but just make sure you have them put uh, make sure you put them back on. So just like that. So now we're going to put on the cap band. So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. And then we're going to do her hair extensions and her eyes. And this collar piece here that we put on at the end. So let's start with the cat bands. So take a single white band, put it on here like a triangle. Not the feet, not the feet or the legs band, but the ones in, on, above it. And then take this loop that's on no peg. Take it with your fingers or with your hook. I find that my fingers are easier. And then just pull it up onto this pick. Make sure that your other loops stay on, just like that. Now we're going to do just regular triangles for the rest of them. So not this peg, but the peg above it, here and here. Use a single white band and create a triangle on these three bands. Now do the same thing with these three, I mean pegs, I said bands here. These three pegs, do the same thing. Make a triangle, just like that. So now the bottom half of her is done, and now we're going to get to the top. So we're going to start with the hair extensions. So we're going to take, so... Here we're going to do one, two, three, four, five loops on each side of her hair, not including the cat band. So we're going to start with the cat band here, wrap it around our hook three or four times. I like three times better, but whatever you prefer. If you want it to look tighter, then you can do four. If your bands are really strong, I guess you can do five, but I mean, it's really up to you. So now we're going to start the five loops. Try to make these as straight as you can, and don't, like, try to, like, like, if you have a band like this, make them, like, not twisted. Because otherwise it'll come out all, like, meh. So, straighten them out, and then slide these three bands onto that yellow band. And like we did for the, le the legs and arms, put that loop back on your hook. So that was loop one. I'm just going to set up the bands for two. And then loop three, four, and five. So here's loop two. Same thing as we've been doing. Take it on your hook, straighten them out, and then you can grab it by the cap band and then just pull it up and then slide on very easily and then put the loops back onto your hook. So that was two. And now here we go with three, same thing as we've done. And I'm not going to instruct anymore. If you need more help, just rewind. 
and five. Like that. Now we're going to put that on either side. Just push down your bands here and here. And you and um we're not gonna put it on yet, so just put it to the side and let's do the other one. So take your hook, make the cat band just like that, as we did for the other one. And I'm not going to instruct because we already made one, so like I said before, if you need more help. Just go back and rewind. So again, I'm just making the like a chart almost. So four and five. So one. Like I said, remember to straighten out your band so that they look smooth. Two. I just, it just um, came out to so just take those out and put the other loops back on your hook if that happens to you. So we're back at one and then two. Like that. And then three. Four. and then five. And same as the last one, we're not going to put them on yet, so just put it over to the side. And the good thing is that they don't fall out unless you pull them and take them out. So now we're going to do the eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a single black band, wrap it around your hook three or four times, like that, push it to the end, and then use another single black band and wrap it around your hook three times as well. Like that. Now take a skin toned band and then slide all of those loops onto the that peach colored band. Now take hold it like this and put this end on this peg right here. Like that, and then put the other peg on the peg exactly across from it. Like that. Now the eyes are going to look all scrunched up, so you're just going to like move them around, and you can use your hook to separate them. Just pull them over to each side. Then take, use your hook and take this top peg top loop and bring it to the peg right above it. So it's like the rest of the cat bands in the triangle. It just has eyes attached. Now we're going to take our hair loop. So make sure you get all all, all four um, loops onto your hook and then slide it on to these two pegs which are the same ones we did for the eyeballs. So a good tip is to like stretch it out and then put your finger in it like this so that you have a clear thing example of where like each side of the band goes because so, otherwise one of the band's sides might go to this side and then it will all fall apart and we don't want that to happen. So just push it down a little and then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So stick your finger in there, and then place them on, like that. So now that we've done the eyes, the hair, the arms, the legs, and all the cat bands, we can get starting with the looming. So take your hook, and we're going to start from the bottom with the feet, and you're going to take your hook and... Sorry, the phone is ringing, but just ignore that. So take your hook, bring it back past the cap bands, and then take take those white bands that are right here and um, bring them up, loom them up. 
Now you can loom the whole side up to here, and then I'll, we'll come back and we'll do this side and then we'll do the middle. So push back the cat band with your finger or with your hook, and bring it up. Do the same thing, push back the cat band, bring, take those bottom two white bands and loom them up. Same thing, up to where we put the arm on. Now, we're going to do the middle. This, this one is the easiest because there's no cat bands to push back. So just take the bottom two white bands here, loom them up, same thing, and then take the three black bands and loom them up. Make sure to get all three bands on. I don't think I got all three bands on. Let me check. Okay, so I didn't, so I just got it back and just put it back onto that, this, this peg right here. So, let me just get that. Okay. So I got it and I put it back on there and now we're going to loom the right side. It's the same as we did on the left side. Push back the black bands and loom all the way up. Push back those black bands, grab the bottom two white bands and bring them up. Push back that cat band again. Get the bottom two white bands, bring them up and over and onto the next peg and repeat the same process. So now we're going to go back to the left side, push back um, the whole arm, and then grab these two white bands. So what I like to do sometimes is just use my finger and push back the white bands so that I know where they are. So just grab those two white bands, make sure you're not grabbing anything else, so just make sure on your hook you only have two bands. And then bring them diagonally up into the center. Do the same thing on the right side. Just like that. Now there's a lot of bands on this peg, so we're going to push back, like we did for the arms, just push back these black or skin toned bands, stick your hook all the way down, and then kind of like move your hook around until you get those two black bands, and then bring them up. Like that. And to release some tension, just kind of like move your hook around just so that it makes it easier. Just like that. This band is stuck in there, so. Okay, so now we're going to take the top two skin colored bands, which for me go to the right. So just take those two bands and bring them over to the right side and then take the next top two bands I only grabbed one which is fine just you have to make sure you go back in and get the other one so the next ones go to the left and then the last ones go up to the center now from the center you can loom all the way up up to here all the double bands leave the single band here so just like we did in the body there's no cat bands to go around so just loom up just like that my peg is starting to fall okay so then do the same thing on the left side loom it up and here just pull them back so that you can and then pull back 
the cap band. A good thing for um, this one is that you should only be grabbing yellow bands. And then you can loom to this diagonally to the center. Do the same thing on the right side. So, again, make sure you're only grabbing yellow bands. And then to the center. And now, we're going to get this yellow band, and we're going to stick our hook all the way down. I can see the little cat yellow band in there. So then just grab that, pull it up and over and onto the peg above it. Now take the bottom loop of the two here, pull it up and over onto the, and then just let it go, and then pull this one tight, and put it back on your hook. Now we can start to take it off. So you can use your hook or your hands. For the bands that have a lot of pet, the pegs that have a lot of bands, sorry, um, I suggest using your hook, otherwise you can use your hands just like this, sort of just pull it off, like for this one here, the body with the triple black bands, okay, using my hook, and then just get all, make sure you get all the bands off, so then from here I'm kind of just going to pull them off, cause, so just like that. So her face turned out to be bigger, but whatever, it's just a face. And sort of just twist it and pull it in whichever way you like, and whichever way you think makes it look the best. And if you did use the black bands for the neck, it could be optional to put on the collar band, but if you use peach, then I suggest doing it. So now um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So just take a single black band and put it slide it through her hair past and slide it onto her head and onto her neck and then just twist it around her head as many times as you need so two three and I'm going to do four and then just kind of move her, twist her, stretch her in whichever way you need, pop out that four in her eyes, make her hair straight. And what I like to do with the hair, because of the, pe the peach bands here, I like to take them with my fingers and then put the yellow bands ahead of it. So just take those two bands, put them in the back. Like that. So that now you have, you don't have these, ban these bands sticking out. So I'm going to put them back and just show you again. So if you have these here, take them and put them into the back, just like that, and just slide it around her hair. Now I'm going to show you how to hide this band if you want it uh, as a charm. If you want to hang it somewhere, then you can just leave it like this, but I'm going to show you anyway. So take your hook and stick your hook through some bands from the back and into the front. Then take this band and put it onto your hook and then slide that through those bands. You can hide it again, but for me, this is fine. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. And also, um, there will be two new videos coming shortly of Disney's Inside Out Disgust and Sadness and also that I'm doing a collab with All Things Disney with the Inside Out series. So totally go check um, that out. He's done Joy and Rainbow Unicorn, and he should have Fear coming shortly. So, and I'll put a link in the description box below to his videos, and also for the trailer for the new Fantastic Four movie coming out, and also for Inside Out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!